speaking of like stuff like touring, are there like certain things that you think you need to hit in order to like make a good show? Yeah, and I think a big part of that, in my opinion, is the relationship you have with the people that you're getting on stage with. I think you need to be in a good place together to have the best show. You also need a really great audience. You know, mm -hmm. because to me, performing live and the reason I do it is for that energy exchange. You're putting out energy, the audience is putting out energy. So, again, you find yourself in a collaborative situation. You're collaborating with the audience on a moment together. And that's why I do it. Yeah. For that exchange. I imagine, like, a lot of it too is just about getting into a good rhythm. First show's probably hectic, last show is a bit yeah. of a relief, and the middle is just nailing it down as best you can. I'm curious, like, do you find it's a better show if you can get into, like, a rhythm like that, or if it's a better show where you have to think about, like, the various ways different elements are working together, whether that's, like, mm. the band and the chemistry on stage, the chemistry mm. between you and the audience, or the specific way mm. that you're playing songs, or adjusting the way songs are played based right. off of the audience. What do you think is, like, the best version of that, or what do you generally go for? In my opinion, the best version of that is when you've been doing doing it for a minute. Obviously, there's a lot of rehearsals that go into performing live. I think a band is at its best when it has been doing it for a certain amount of time. So what you're trying to create before that first show is you're trying to do so much rehearsal that it becomes automatic and you turn into a different kind of machine. So then you actually yeah. start to become a machine in a positive way. And once it's a machine, you can pretty much handle anything technical difficulties, all this stuff. Luckily, that stuff doesn't happen. The technical difficulty can really be a bummer. Um, Are you able to sort of handle the adjustment of then getting that newfound energy that you didn't practice with when you do like the first show? Mm -hmm. Or like, are you able to adjust because you guys have already just been playing or does it take a second to work that into the rhythm? It's different, but if you rehearse, and you, another thing is you don't want to over rehearse too, because that could happen. Yeah. You know, so there's a sweet spot. Once everything has become automatic, automatic and muscle memory, then you can really focus on the moment and the energy and the crowd and you can really put on a great show. Yeah. You know, the idea for us is we try to make it so each movement in a way, even though it's all spontaneously different to some extent, each strum of the guitar is a unique thing. The idea is to burn it into your muscle memory and make it automatic and you just do it. You're not thinking about stuff. You're just yeah. performing. That's the idea. That's where we like to get. It's very similar. And by the way, like speaking of like that first show energy, for it being mm. like a first show back in a while, you guys killed it at the shrine. Oh, My thank favorite you. concert thank you. ever. And I get the same vibe from many of the people in the YouTube comment section who couldn't join the show, but still yeah. got to experience that with you guys through yeah. that venue. That uh, was definitely the most fun I ever had on stage playing in my chemical romance, for sure. Yeah, cool. because you had a break and you had all that energy, that sort of pent up energy to let loose and just, yeah, you had a break. And you know what I also tried to do, and this is conscious, I tried to relinquish some control. I talk about, or I think about control a lot. In the years since the band broke up, I've really examined control in all its forms. And my, my goal at the Shrine was not to direct the audience to do anything, to let them do what they naturally wanted to do. It became less of working a crowd, as they say, or being an entertainer. It was less yeah. of that, you know, if I moved my hand, it was just because I wanted to do it. I wasn't trying to get the audience to wave their hands and stuff. Because I, I no, you know, I- performing. Over, I was just performing and that's all I wanted in the to moment. be. I didn't want I didn't want to be like telling people what to do or directing them or imposing any kind of control on that audience. To me, the new version of my chemical romance and how I want to go about it is by exercising less control. I see.